turn it to the book of Second Thessalonians this morning. We will try to read a little bit long. And uh, we all will listen to God's word and uh, receive it and know that it's true. Now, what I say sometimes may not be that that way. Uh, my comments may not be as but I do know this, that God's Word is true. And uh, uh, whatever I read here, if I read it correctly, will be uh, for your good. And uh, I know this morning that I'm, we're glad to see each one here this morning. And sorry that Sister Joanne can't be here, but uh, we're all here because the Lord warned us to be here. And uh, we pray that we might be able to help in some way. This morning in the in the book of that second Thessalonians that Paul and Timothy was writing to the church there and they were having some problems in the church. We see in verse one he says Paul and uh, had wrote this letter to them and it says, Now we beseech thee or we beg you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together to him that you be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Now Paul is uh, writing in this letter, and he said, I don't want this letter to trouble you, but we beg you uh, and, and that you uh, take heed. And we know this morning as we uh, look at the times and as we uh, know for a fact that uh, uh, things are not like they used to be and things are getting worse and worse and worse. Right. And, uh, you know, there has to be a falling away before the Lord can come back and say, come up hither. And so we, uh, he, Paul is writing to them, and this has been several hundred years ago, but at that time they were having problems uh, with the church. And notice in... Uh, in the first chapter, I mean, in the first, uh, over in the first uh, uh, verse of the uh, of the uh, scripture of the book of Thessalonians, he is writing uh, so that uh, that telling them that uh, that to take take patience and be easy because uh, uh, there's there's things that's on the way and it's that we. Uh, we need to understand that uh, these things are going to happen to the church. Now notice here uh, in verse 3 of, of, first, of 2 Thessalonians 1, we are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is met because that your faith groweth exceedingly and the chari charity of every one of you all toward each other aboundeth. So here is some of the things that Paul is, is saying to them, hey, uh, we, 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 we thank you for this. And the charity that we that you have towards one another is a, a very important thing. And, and the church this morning, uh, in these times are that are at hand, needs to remember these things of the charity uh, towards one another and the love uh, or the love of one another and encourage one another. And uh, I'm sure this morning that uh, that some have not had a real. Uh, happy week. I'm sure that they had problems and things of this nature. And we uh, we would encourage uh, each one of you to uh, pray to the Lord that He would help you with these things. And we want to uh, pray for you too. But Paul is saying here in verse four, so that we ourselves glory in in you in the churches of God for your patience and faith and all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endure. So uh, Paul is telling the church here, and this is, a, this is the letter I'm writing to you, and he's saying that uh, these things that are happening to you is, a, is a, a forerunner of what is going to come in later years uh, to the future churches. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, this is us this morning. Uh, we are the future churches. We are the ones that are should be keeping our eyes open and, and noticing everything that's going on because 
one day before long, the Lord Jesus Christ is going to appear in the sky and He's going to call us away. Amen. So here, uh, in, in back in our cha uh, chapter 2, He says here, that you be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled. Uh, and we we look a lot of times and uh, we was listening to something the uh, other day about uh, maybe they're going to start changing the money situation in the in the in our country. Well, I mean that's something that's disturbing. But the thing of it is, we know this that the Lord is able to take care of that situation. And if we have to suffer persecution, hey, that should be all right with us too, because uh, the Lord Jesus Christ suffered much persecution for us. Right. He, uh, all of his disciples suffered for it. So uh, we should uh, we should be ready for this. But now I notice, and again he says that you be not some shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word. And, and then the spirit that he's talking about here is, I believe, what he's saying is these evil spirits that are, uh, are that we see every day and, and they're in people. Amen. And people are, are letting them rule their bodies. And, and we see this and even, even in the uh, going into churches and into uh, schools and things like this. And these people killing innocent people and even when they when they catch one of them and and don't kill him he don't know why mm -hmm. uh, he don't know why and listen people it's these evil spirits are, that are that are taking people over and causing these things so he's he's warning them there he says in verse 3 now let no man deceive you deceive you by any means for that day shall not come and he's talking about the day of his calling us out. And that day shall not come except there be a falling away first. And uh, let's see, and, uh, and, 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 that, and then come forth, and that man of sin be revealed. And people were having the revealing, the church, the the falling away is here. Right. The, the it's in the churches. It's in fact in the business. There's, there is, and, and I'm not criticizing. I'm not pointing a finger. I'm not judging. But listen, there is churches this morning that are filled with this spirit that he's talking about right, right. now. And listen, I, I I hear I hear people all the time. I heard a preacher the other day, and I and I, and I didn't could not believe that the man was saying what he was and his uh, standing. And he was putting his approval upon these Christmas and all of this and his son was mm -hmm. interviewing him and this and he was going right along with the world and people. And listen, if he goes along with that, then he's going to go along with the bunny laying eggs and he's right. going to go along with all of these other things. And listen, people, that's a sign for us to, to open our eyes and look because it's it's here. And right. so here he says uh, in verse 4, uh, talking about this man of perdition who opposes and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped. So that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Now mm -hmm. this has not happened yet. This will happen. Uh, I believe it will happen after the rapture, and the Jews, the Jews will see this happen, and this will show them what uh, what he is, and 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 they will turn to the Lord. But listen. If he's going to do that, he's got to get his little nest made. Mm -hmm. And 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 you know, you, you see an old hen make her nest and she wallers around and she plugs. And listen, that's the way he's doing now. He is he is making his nest. He is preparing a people that will accept him, will receive him, and there will be no problem whatsoever. He'll come right in and he'll sit down on that uh, on that temple over there and he'll say, I am God. Mm -hmm. And the people will say amen to that. And so we as, as God's people need to keep our eyes open and, and watch what's going on. I want to read you uh, something here this morning in the book of Ephesians. And, and it says there in verse 2, be not soon shaken. In, in Ephesians 2, I mean 5, I'm sorry, in, in Ephesians 5, verse 
6. Notice what the, the Bible says. It says, <clears throat> Ephesians 5, verse 6, Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. And we see this morning these people that are going along with all of this worldly stuff and they're, they're putting their approval upon it. We do not need to socialize. We do not need to, to amen anything they do. We don't right. need to be around them because, listen, here we, we see here that he says, Be not ye therefore partakers with them. And so if, if we, you know, these, these, these people uh, uh, are crazy even of, of, of about Christmas trees. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a person in our in our community, and I believe, if I ain't mistaken, my wife told me something about that they had five Christmas trees in their house. Mm. And uh, listen, people, that's getting that's getting downright uh, bad because listen, and and so many people they they criticize us for teaching against the Christmas tree and uh, and saying that it's wrong. Well, i got news for them. When they put a Christmas tree in their house and they put all of these decorations on it and they, oh, how beautiful, oh, how beautiful. Listen, that's a worship. Amen. And the thing that's so much worse about that is they give gifts and they lay them gifts down under that tree just right. like bowing to an idol or something. Amen. People, that's wrong. And right. Listen, people, the United States will have to, is going to have to suffer for that. Amen. It's, it's, it's pleasing to God. It's a stink in its nostrils. And we, as God's people, don't need to have anything to do with this situation. Amen. It's just like the, I was talking about, about the little bunny in the Easter parade laying the eggs. And and all of this, like, listen, people, it's 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 mockery. Amen. And, and so here we see, he said in verse eight of Ephesians five, for ye were sometimes darkness. Now, sometimes that means that some of them probably uh, have changed since then, but because. Uh, you were you were in darkness to this, and we were in darkness to it. Right. My family was in darkness to it. We did not see what what was so bad about it. But listen, it is ungodly. Amen. It is displeasing to the Lord. And so He says, "For you were sometimes darkness, but now are you light in the Lord." And me and my wife and my family know better. And we don't have these things in our home. We don't celebrate it. Amen. It's it's all ungodly, Amen. and you can say what you want to about the little children having this and having that. But listen, they're better off. They've got 364 days in the year that they can receive things like that. They don't have to put have this in their house. Amen. And uh, little children that are here. Uh, they need to understand about what this thing with Christmas is. And so many people, they just look so much forward to this big man in the red cross. <coughs> Listen, it's, it's, it's bad. It's bad. And, uh, and our news media starts tracking him from the time he leaves uh, up north all the way till he gets to Georgia. And so you can tell who's putting approval on what. Right. And so, people, I, I, I'm serious. It's it's a it's a it's a thing that that the world is going to be wild and crazy for. Amen. You're and, right. and, and and you know the merchants they love it too. But anyway, so much for that. For the <clears throat> notice here, but he says we were you are the light. Uh, for you were sometimes darkness, but now are you light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Amen. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. And so I think this morning that uh, we can we can say that it's uh, been proven or it's been it's been spoke against anyway. Uh, what is going on during this month? 
and what is these these people that are doing all of this and then they they uh, uh, venture out and they go to their place of worship and they say oh how I love Jesus and uh, people it's 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 a abomination mm -hmm. what, what it is and, and you know I'm sure that uh, some people are going to see this uh, that are not here and that's good because uh, they need to hear it. Amen. And they, they, got to, they, they can't stand before the Lord or they can't stand before somebody say, I never, I never knew that because, listen, this is the truth. Now, back in our lesson this morning, we want to go over to, uh, back over to uh, 2 Thessalonians again here and read just a little bit more here. Uh, in verse uh, 5 of this, Remember you not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now you know what withholdeth that he might reveal in his time. For the mystery of iniquity. Now you think about this, the mystery of iniquity. There, it is a great mystery. It is, and people don't understand it, but they follow it. Mm -hmm. They put their approval upon this because some ungodly person told them it's right. And listen, people, it's not its not for us to swallow up and gobble up something that we don't understand. Right. And, and so well, this morning, the mystery of iniquity, of the mystery of sin, is this, that the, that the devil is out there trying to deceive every person he can. Right. And he wants, he wants your soul. Mm -hmm. He wants your soul, and he does not care anything about it. Amen. But all he wants to do is stand up before God and say, I've got another one of yours. And he doesn't care how how it is. But listen, he's doing a good job. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't believe me, read Isaiah 5. And it says there that hell has enlarged itself. Mm -hmm. Now, if it he wasn't getting it full, and listen, he had... It had already been increased once when God went, when Jesus went down into the bosom of Abraham and preached to those people, and they came out with him. And you remember when the, the rich man died and went over there and, and seen Lazarus over there, he said, he asked Abraham, and that was all of the old tribes, all, he said, for uh, to send Lazarus and give him some water. But now when this when this was completed, when Jesus went down into uh, Abraham's bosom, these people had lived by the law. They were not saved. They had done as best they knew how. But they weren't saved because the Bible says that the law cannot save. Right. And so they were down there, not saved, but they were in, in, in hope until such time as the Messiah could come to them. And Jesus went down to this place and He told them of grace and He they accepted Him and He led them in the book of the Bible says in Ephesians that He led captive captivity and He took them and they appeared to Him. Some of them appeared. And so He carried them to heaven with Him. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because, listen, I said hell has enlarged itself. Now it needs more room mm -hmm. because listen, there's more going there than it was in the plan when when it was first started. Because the devil was made, I mean the hell was made for the devil and his angels. But listen, it's enlarged. And 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 and, and Abraham's bosom has been moved out of the way. But now Isaiah says it's enlarged again. And so you can see what the devil is doing. He's having he's having a, a field day with us, mm -hmm. and things like it's going on this month, and things that uh, are being taught in our churches and all this. Listen, it's just it's just loading him up with stuff that he can do and use on these people to attract their attract them and get them to uh, do the things that they think maybe it's all right. You know, mm -hmm. hey, it's all right for you to do this and do that. Listen, it ain't all right. Amen. And sin, sin. Amen. And so this morning, 
uh, I, that, that's, this is something that you need to think about. I want to I want to continue this just a little bit this morning, and I want you to look over with me in the book of Psalms, uh, 107. Psalms 107. Uh, David says here in Psalms 107. <clears throat> He says, O oh, give thanks mm-hmm. unto the Lord, for He is good. Amen. For His mercy endureth forever. Now, we that are lost, this, uh, oh, sorry, those that are lost this morning, there is mercy for you. Mm-hmm. And the Lord Jesus Christ is there ready to hear you the Holy Spirit is ready to uh, come to you and speak to your hearts. And listen this morning, people. You're in danger if you're not saved. You're in danger of going to this place right. that God is telling you about where that it has, it has enlarged itself. And uh, if you're figuring on going there with a small crowd, you can. it's not right because there's a great crowd going to be there. But the thing of it is, the, the condition there is not favorable and your soul that you have within you this morning can be saved Mm -hmm. because that Jesus Christ died for your sins and you can be saved Mm -hmm. but now listen here he says that God oh give God thanks unto the Lord for he is good for his mercy endures forever let the redeemed of the Lord say so amen that's what we're trying to do this morning. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. I'm trying my best this morning to read you scriptures and things that, that the Holy Spirit can use. If there's anyone here that's lost this morning, that the Holy Spirit can take these words, these are God's words, and He can use them on your soul and, 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 and tell you what the danger is. Because you're in danger of going to a devil's hell. Right. Without, there's, I mean, and that's it. And so, listen, if there be one here that is undecided, don't know, wonders about your salvation. If there's one here this morning that's like that, you need to, you need to listen to God's Word because He says, He says here, whom He hath... And it says, let, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. And the enemy that he's talking about is Satan. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, he, you can be redeemed. Now over in 106, I want to read one other thing, and we'll close. But notice in, in Psalms 106, same, about the same. But anyway, uh, you know, when he says it over and over and over, and he had had people to write it. Listen, he wanted you to hear it, and he wanted you to see it. So he says, "Praise ye the Lord! Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. Amen. For His mercy endures forever. Who can utter uh, the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can show forth all His praises? Who can?" Blessed are they that keep judgments or the ability to determine wrong from right. Uh, Blessed are they that keep judgments and he that doeth righteous at all times. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation. This is a man crying out to God. Mm-hmm. And asking for salvation or or, or in remembrance uh, uh, unto the Lord, and this this morning should be something that if you're not saved, if you wonder about it, if you're that you might cry out to the God and and hear that He might hear you this morning, because uh, you know today is today, but tomorrow. Is another thing. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow we might not go. And I, I thought about. 
I thought about some of the things that uh, the, the year is ending. And uh, I've seen this. i got one more year behind me. Mm-hmm. I've got one more year behind me. But it says, and one less to go. And so our time, our time is, is uh, we'll wind up one of these days and uh, we'll have to face a just God. Mm-hmm. And uh, we need to be ready. We need to be ready when... When that time comes, so if there's something I've said this morning that will are read to you, uh, that will stir your heart, I'm thankful to the Lord this morning for letting me have the privilege and the honor of reading God's Word. Uh, and uh, if I've offended anybody in this, you need it to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just that way, right? Because God doesn't want uh, God does not want these things going on in in, in, in the in the in the world. He doesn't. But man has chose to do it. And so if these things, if they offend, I'm sorry uh, that you don't understand it. But I'm not. I, I should I should say I'm thankful that I offended you because the thing of this, it might get you into God's word, or it might get you to go to your. Uh, pastor, or it might get you some way stirred up that you might uh, try to find out why I said it. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm thankful this morning that I had the opportunity to, to uh, read God. I pray that I might continue to uh, try to try to be a blessing mm-hmm. because that's my desire this morning. Yes, is and I pray that the Lord. I pray every day, Lord, help me to be a blessing. Amen. Because uh, I need a blessing, and I know you need a blessing, and I know if I'm in the will of the Lord, we can have a blessing. Right. And listen, uh, you know, I used to know an old man, uh, a preacher, and he says, when I point my finger at you, or when I point my finger out that way, and you say, well, he's pointing at me. But you listen to this, notice what comes back. Right right at me and so people it's it's not nothing that I I didn't say anything to uh, try to offend but I just want I I believe that you need to know this thing so we thank you this morning for your attention Amen